Hey guys, we're watching Volgar's Beer Reviews. This time we're taking a look at Shock Top Honey Bourbon Cask Wheat. This is brewed in St. Louis, Missouri. 5.5% alcohol by volume. Brewed by Anheuser. Anything else to say? I don't think so. Let's bring up the uh, Beer Advocate. Ooh, that's a weird smell. It smells like wood. Kind of smells like wood a little bit. Very interesting. I pour it straight down because I'm not going to. Oh, wow. Maybe we'll go to the side. Crackling quite quite a bit. I don't know if the microphone picks it up. The pour is a very light orange um, color, as you can see. Maybe I guess it looks like grapefruit in the camera, but it looks like orange to me because the light's going through on this side. Um, I don't have a flashlight on me. Oh well. Just take a word for it. Kind of looks like a light orange. Actually, if I look it out like there, it kind of looks like maple. Just like the. Uh, I don't know. It's shock top. But it looks like a decent pour. It's got plenty ahead. But that smell, it smells so off the wall. Okay. Oh, this got some weird reviews. Or not so good. 56% for Beer Advocate, awful. The Bros get 48, awful. The reader, or the submitted average review is 2.28. And, uh, Wit Beer, 5.5 ABV. Belgian style unfiltered wheat ale is brewed with honey, caramel malt, mal, caramel malt, aged on brewing casks, staves, for the perfect balance of flavor and refreshment all year round. Uh, Here's a review. I don't want to read that one. I don't want to read that one. Here we go. This one really breaks it down. Cloudy orange amber with moderate head and retention. Okay, well, looks good. This one looks very soapy, light, um, fluffy head. Lots of sweet, savory honey and just a bit of chemical taste. The same as smell, except better. Very good, cream and lots of it, nice combination. Overall, how can this brew get such low ratings? It's actually pretty good. Alright, well, let's see. That smell is so weird. It's like, whatever. Wood. Beer. Like, like if you open a drawer and you smell the drawer in, in, a, in a dresser, it kind of smells like that. It's so weird. Oh, wow. That is weird. That is, that is different. That is weird. Uh, wow. I, I taste the caramel. I taste the, uh, I don't know about the bourbon. The spices, I guess. Well, at first, half it's like, oh, gross. And the other, and on the other side, it's like, oh, well, kind of weird. It's good, but I don't know. It also reminds like the smell of like a hotel. Like you go to a hotel and you walk in, you get that smell, but. No, this beer isn't really clicking with me. I'd give this a, a 6.9 or 6.7. I mean, this will appeal to somebody, but to me, it's just so weird. I mean, I'm... I got. I guess I'm glad I got it. I guess I got... I'm, I'm glad I just got one at Fred Meyer. I think it was a dollar and a quarter. 
instead of you know getting a bunch of them or a bunch getting a six pack for seven twenty or whatever it is. Um. Oh, and the honey. I can taste the honey. But it's like it tastes like honey and wood. Honey, wood. Honey, wood, and I don't know what else. Now I don't know about even a six for this. Because I even like Miller Fortune, I could drink that and go like, oh, okay, this is weird, but it's okay. No, actually, I think this is more like a, a four and a half or five. Because it's just so weird. And you have to have a good, a good stomach, which I, I don't really. And, uh... I don't know. This this is such a weird beer. When I picked it up, it said honey, bourbon, cask, wheat. I didn't know what to expect. It had a couple that has bees on it. Right there. B. Yeah, it is weird. Um, unless you're a diehard Shock Top fan. I thought I was, but now I know that this is this, this is a no-go. And actually, speaking of which, of trying out a beer and not kind of liking it at first then not liking it that last one day the Murphy Stout I thought I was kept on sipping it oh wow this is kind of weird this is different um it's not bad but then at the end it's like I that taste is stuck in my mouth and it's like it was a good taste like the aftertaste is kind of not so good so that bourbon uh what's it called Murphy's Stout you know it's a little more expensive and it's tall can it's a, it's a stout everything it seems to be Good, except for I didn't realize that it was four percent until I bought until after I brought it home or whatever. And yeah, it's, I don't think it's even worth a, a seven or that, that's that's more like a, a a six a six nine. This is more like a, a five because I could see somebody buying this, I could see somebody buying one and, and maybe getting through it, but it's just so weird. It's it's so off the wall. Not sure why anyone would buy this. Color is dirty, hazy amber, and it's very little color. It smells mild, sweet honey, and what appears to be bourbon in it. Could easily just be caramel malt. And I'll paint it is. Taste doesn't have much, not even hard water, just some honey like sweetness, and some faint oak bourbon or something. Yeah, oak, you know, wood. Very dirty taste, and it could just be Anheuser Bush using shitty ingredients. Well, I don't want to think that, but sure, why not? 1.3 out of 5. Ever picked up the wrong bottle of, from a college dorm using a two-day bender and you find out just swilled the resident You just swilled the resi resi residuals? The residuals from the old English 800 and three spent cigarette butts. Very reminiscent, but I intentionally drank this one. So... In accordance with the rules, I would classify this beer as quite smoky, somewhat sweet, and containing alcohol. It would possibly work as a steak marinade I would try repurposing before recycling. Yeah, this is the one time I very much agree with the ratings that are low. I'm surprised they got that much uh, beer out of Kitten the Bros, because they get stuff like PBR and... Uh, well, you know, PBR, Bush, whatever, cheap, cheap beers like that. They they, they give that like a three or a, or like a thirty or twenty or whatever. Maybe a fifty-six if you're lucky if they reviewed it. But stuff like this or this one, they gave a fifty-six out of a hundred. Well, I guess it's six still bad, but whatever. I'm surprised they even gave it that high. But that isn't high. That's a five. But I guess that's still five, not one. I don't know. Yeah, this beer is, I don't know. If, if you have to know what it tastes like, it tastes like wood and, wood and honey in, in a bland beer, I guess. So open your drawer, your dresser drawer, or smell your, your wood door or something that's wood. Smell that. Smell honey. There you have this beer. It's... <laughs> It's, uh, I don't know, it's a miss. That's my opinion. It's not what it's cracked up to be. But, 
I had to find out. I gotta try them all. So that was my video review, and thanks for watching.